Hey, it's uh, John and Mike from Brew-Dudes.com. So this week we're talking. We were talking about equipment, and John, you wrote a uh, you wrote we a post. Talking not too, we were talking about equipment. Um, we were taught you uh, wrote a post not too long ago about, yeah, about, about uh, buying a mill or buying a refactor. Yeah. Comment. So where do we stand with that? Yeah, we we stand that I'm buying a mill. Uh, all the comments are overwhelmingly in support of buying a mill. And it's it's just from the perspective of, of the the cost savings over time because you'll be able to buy the big uh, 50 pound sacks of uh, of grain and be able to mill it you know when when you need to, um, and then also just the utility of it. And then uh, some people were saying like yeah I have a ref refractometer I've used it a few times and then I haven't so it's you know just sitting on the shelf, um, and that's not really a piece of equipment that uh, I I'd like to buy. Uh, I mean, I will eventually, but uh, if I'm, you know, if I, since I put out the choice, two things, they said buy a mill first. So I'm going to ask you if price isn't an op uh, or an issue, if price isn't an issue, what mill should I buy? You asking me or that? Yes, I'm asking oh, me. you. I can't, they're not going to answer me. Oh, right, um, now. right now. Um, but you should leave comments if you've got an opinion on yes, that. Yes, of course. Um, uh, you know, I, I was doing a lot of research into mills not too long ago. But I, I I haven't done it lately. But I I think a standard two roll or mill uh -huh. like uh, is probably fine. Although some of the three roller mills, like the monster mills and stuff, are good. But I think that leads us to something else, right? Is that um, equipment? You can get really sexy with your equipment, and how sexy do you need to get with some mm -hmm. of the equipment, right? So mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I think there's a lot of good standard two roller mills in the market. Um, I think some of the things to look out for is like they need to be bearing packed and you want full adjustable mill. Um, now getting one with a hopper or not or how big of a hopper. I'm a you fan of getting like a, I mean as opposed to building one yourself, right? right. I mean that's just a waste of time. I'm a, I'm a kind of a fan of, I've pieced together a lot of equipment myself but sometimes I just get sick of it and I just want to buy it because <laughs> I, it's a waste of time sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I love the DIY part of it but Sometimes I just want to move on with my growth as a brewer and building a hopper for a mill is just going to slow it down, right? I, so yes, yes, yeah, yes yeah. I wouldn't build it. So I don't know, um, <laughs> I'll just say, um, you know, the, the Schmidling malt mill or whatever that, you know, I don't know. But there are all kinds of great mills out there, but I don't know, I've never really, I, who knows how different they really perform, right? Well, I, I, yeah, and it's not like you're going to have a chance to test them side by side. Just get something. a Corona mill. Apparently, yes. I love my Corona. Yeah, mill. I know you do. I but like I do want to. All things being equal, a nice roller mill would would go faster than my Corona mill. And then, don't I need to get a motor or something to do it? Yeah, but I think when you first get started, it? you would just use a uh, a drill or a cordless drill. Oh, really? Actually, I have a spare cordless drill that somebody gave I me that I've been drill. waiting to buy a mill, and I'll just <laughs> just to use, use it yeah. for. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm waiting for. Exactly what I'm waiting for. So. All right. Well, then I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe you, you know, know Christmas uh, is coming let, up. Let me play the you know, devil's maybe the advocate. Maybe dudes can buy uh, a mill for me. You know, the other guy, not, not me. I wouldn't buy it for myself. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, well. The um, I'll play the devil's advocate for getting a mill versus a refractometer. Okay. I right. use my refractometer all the time. I know you when do. I, know I, you I, do. I, I love getting the numbers of the first running, second runnings, pre-boil, post-boil. I don't use it for fermentation because that's it's just sure. too difficult. Um, Another downside of having a mill, I used to buy a lot of ingredients in bulk. I had, I'd have a 50 pound sack of Pilsner, I'd have a 50 pound sack of Maris Otter, maybe American Two Row. Suddenly you've got 150 pounds of grain and you're not going through it that fast. And a couple years ago I brewed a Baltic Porter with some leftover Pilsner malt that was, had gotten way past its prime. Yeah. And the, the beer came out awful. So one of the problems with having a mill is that you want to buy grain in bulk because it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, sure. But now you're committed to saying, well, now I got 50 pounds of Pilsner. I'm going to brew a bunch of Pilsner-based beers, or I'm going to brew a bunch of American two-row-based beers, and the ability to jump back and forth between Maris Otter and it, it just becomes a little bit limiting, albeit it can be cheaper if you're going to brew a bunch of, you know, uh, stuff. So those those are like kind of the downsides of having a mill. Um, yeah, but I, th I still think that uh, if it, even if I'm buying the same amounts that I'm buying now. Um, to have it uh, in its full uh, form and mill it right before brewing, yeah. I think it's got to be a lot better than having it milled at the uh, shop and having it sent to me. No, I agree. Yeah. The freshness factor yeah. of, of cracking it the night before brewing or the yeah. morning of is definitely a big plus. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. I just uh, 
You love your we're, we're, a resource, we're, we're a resource for the people. We got to discuss yeah. both sides. I you know. know. We're both sides. You're not always trying to take the other um, side. The other reality is too is we are, we are two brew dudes. Yes. We could buy a, a sack and work through it faster. I mean, we, as opposed to have to. That's true. Suffer the way I've said I've suffered in the past with too much well, grain. Once we get our homebrew club ready and, and rolling, then maybe we can do a lot more sharing of ingredients. Sharing, sharing, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, as Mike would say. So. Bruin, we'll uh, we'll probably get on to uh, buying that mill sometime soon. Leave a comment. Tell us what mill to buy. Yeah, there you go. Leave a comment, and we'll buy whatever you know, whatever the uh, the most uh, votes get. Um, but if we don't like it, we're gonna blame you, <laughs> user 184. <laughs> so for John and Mike, uh, vote wisely. Bruin. Cheers. <laughs>